Hello, this is Micah with One Lazy Diamond Ranch. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Helps out really a lot. I wanted to get on here and talk about my irrigation, how I irrigate and what the future looks like and what my problems are with this irrigation. So right now we're, we have flood irrigation on the whole farm. It's about 120 acres we got here. And I'm gonna work at moving this as well, so. As of right now, we used to have four borders on this field to where we had water. One side, well, we had some flippers, flip deals that flip from side to side on a timer. They're not working right now. Got to get them fixed to continue using them. But so we would water four borders and they're about, you can see the little bump right there and then see the little bump right there. So they're about. Some are about 50 foot wide, some are about 30 foot wide. I think these ones are about 50 foot, 45 to 50 foot wide. And so, and this field's about 1,000 foot long. So, I used to be able to water four of these borders at once. And then on a flipper, I, I could water eight of them at once. And then, um, but it would take about eight to nine hours. And I've been running since I'm doing this tight rotation and trying to do no till and everything. Um, I've been running into some problems with my water not getting down when I put it on the eight hour or the when I put it on four borders on each side. So now. I'm only able to water two at a time. So what I'll do is I'll shut all these gates off. And yesterday I watered these two borders. And so this morning I'm having to move the plug. And water two closer ones. It'll take not quite as long as these two borders because these gates leak quite a bit and so it's not a full flow of water going to the other two borders but anyways that's kind of the issue i'm running into with some of my fields there the infiltration rate is getting better than the water can handle so I'm having to cut it down to less borders and it takes a little longer to water because I'm pushing more water down so how to fix this is in the future use a pivot that's a brand new pivot we just put up and so that is going to be really nice with saving time on this um watering won't have to come out here every day you turn the pivot on let it go for about i think it's going to be going for about three days two to three days about that and then for the area where the pivot doesn't hit because that's only a 60 acre pivot so in the areas where it doesn't hit we are putting in solid set irrigations and they're going to be quite a ways on the other side of the pivot there's a, um, about 20 acres we have that we're going to put that on this year and so that's going to be a project in a little bit in the future and hopefully that's going to eliminate a lot of time and a lot of efforts trying to water And then another thing it um, is going to help out with, I believe, is I like to leave down a lot of um, litter on the ground to help to cover the soil so that the sunlight never hits the soil. Right here, you know, it's doing too, too pretty good, not too bad, but 
one of the issues I have with the flood irrigation is it'll push everything out and push it down into a little pile and then expose the soil, which I think this pivot's gonna be extremely nice to where it won't be puddling and running and it'll just sprinkle over the sprinkle over the litter and just let it sit where it is and keep keep that soil covered so that I don't get it exposed, heat up, keep it warm in the winter, and then it'll help the grass to grow quicker and not get um, too, the roots get too hot right there on the soil and also the organisms and the microbiology too. stay alive right there on the topsoil and I can start building my organic matter in those areas instead of it just running to another spot so I'm gonna go down through here and open up all these gates to where I can water this spot now Here's another part of the farm where the solid sets are going to be going in here. Try to put them in this winter or spring. Um, so I got it all set up, put my valves on. And that's that flipper I was talking about. And it don't have the motor on top right now on the timer. But these fields, they do okay on still on that system. Because the fields are a whole lot shorter they're only about 500 foot and I know some of you are probably gonna say well what are you watering there's some fescue out there there's a little bit of fescue trying to get started and going and also it's good to keep your soil wet so that you don't kill any bacteria and funguses and microbiology that I'm trying to get going here because I do no fertilizers, no pesticide, and I do no-till system. I till only where I have to and I planted this fescue pretty much right in stuff like this. It's, you know, standing old um, clovers and a few forbs and some people call them weeds and a little bit of Bermuda but I planted right into this with that fescue um, I did the same with that other field the other field just did a little better than this one but I'll take what I get this is about four hours later got this set finished took my valves and I'm gonna go down here a little bit further so I'm up get another set ready for tomorrow. I might start it today, we'll see. But two borders here took four hours. So a little longer than I want but eventually we'll get that pivot going here pretty soon. We got pipe to it. We just gotta get all the metal pipe above ground and the wire hooked up and she'll be ready to go all right guys i'm gonna get off here so see you guys next time